I am sick and tired of all the lies going around in the media. Why would Chelsea sell N'Golo Kante? He's one of the best midfielders in the world. He's absolutely world class. And Chelsea's a future Real Madrid. We will not be parting ways. Fabio Romando said here we go about two weeks ago and he still ain't holding up the shirt because Kante will be a Chelsea player next season and winning the Premier League. What the fuck am I seeing? Is this an illusion? Please tell me there's something wrong with my eyes. Why would we get rid of the best midfielder in the world? Todd Bowley, you've ruined our title charge. So Arsenal fans think they're signing Kai Havertz. Are you guys living in a stimulus? I knew you guys were delusional, but I didn't think you were that bad. Havertz is a Chelsea legend. He won us the Champions League. He loves Chelsea. Do you really think he'd leave us for a rival like Arsenal, who have never won the Champions League? Do you really think we'd give a banter club like Arsenal the satisfaction of signing one of our world-class players? So Arsenal, stay away, because our star boy doesn't want to join you. This is club trying to fuck with my sanity. Why would we sell Havertz to freaking Arsenal? He's a Chelsea legend and won us the Champions League. They don't deserve a world-class player like him. Chelsea, please not again. Not the LeBron James of soccer. We've already sold so many world-class players this window and it's only been about two weeks. I know Pulisic has struggled recently and suffered with injuries, but don't forget what he did for us in lockdown. He was absolutely world-class. He was looking like prime Eden Hazard. He loves this club and I believe if he stays next season, he can return to that form. Why would he want to go to AC Milan? They're washed. They're a banter club. They have absolutely zero world-class players. So Chelsea, please don't make Pulisic leave. This club is turning into fucking Amazon. We might as well do a car boot sale. Why would we sell Pulisic to LeBron James of soccer? He was going to go back to his lockdown form. I'm going to start watching cricket instead. Why is everyone trying to sign all of Chelsea's players? Is it because they know we have loads of world-class players and they're afraid of us, so they're trying to stop us from becoming the future Real Madrid? Al Hilal are trying to sign Kalidou Koulibaly. Can anyone even name one player that plays for that team? Koulibaly's not going to go there. I know Koulibaly had a bad season, but are you forgetting his time at Napoli? He was one of the best defenders in the world, and next season he will show that he is still up there, and it will be at Chelsea. And some other random team is trying to sign Edouard Mendy. I've never heard of that team in my life. Why is he going to want to join them? I know Mendy didn't play much last season. But are you forgetting how good he was when Chelsea won the Champions League? He was the best keeper in the world that year. Next season, Mendy's comeback at Chelsea will begin. So whoever these clubs are, stay away. Because this duo is ready to shut down the Premier League next season. Do you think this is Southampton? Why would we sell Kulibaly, another world-class player? He was going to prove why he's one of the best defenders in the world next season. We might finish 12th again. Chelsea, what are you doing? This has been one of the worst weeks of my life. We've sold so many world-class players that have somehow managed to miss one. We've sold Edouard Mendy as well. He was the best goalkeeper in the world in 2021 when we won the Champions League. He's world class. Why would we sell him? It feels like this club is trying to take our hearts away. Why are people saying Chelsea selling us Pilaqueta? Are you forgetting you need world class players to win trophies? Do you really think Chelsea's trying to retire from winning trophies? I know we've sold other world class players, but are you really dumb enough to think we're going to sell every single one of them? As Pisa Chelsea legend, he's won every trophy available to him at Chelsea. Do you really think we're going to let that go for free? Look at all the world-class, talented young players we have at this club. As P will be able to instill that winning mentality into those players. We're the future Real Madrid, and As P will not be going anywhere. I've had enough of this club. It feels like I'm in love with a girl, and my best friend is just bending her over. Why would we sell As P, the best right back in Prem history? They don't care about us. I am getting tired and sick of this. Now people are saying Chelsea are selling Kovacic. This is an absolute disgrace. Have you seen Kovacic's dribbling? It's absolutely world class. I've never seen anything like it. Why would we let that go? Is it because we had one bad season and finished 12 that people think we're going to lose all of our world class players? All the other clubs are trying to take our players and stop our title charge next season. 
because they know the world-class talent that we possess. We're the future Real Madrid, and we will show that next season. So Kovacic will not be going anywhere, because as I said, we will not be selling any world-class players. Are you fucking having me on? I'm meant to be relaxing, enjoying my life after Chelsea's shit season, and instead I have to go back to the mental doctor. This is a disgrace. Why do Manchester United fans think they're signing Mason Mount? You think he wants to join your dusty club? He's at a club where he's won big trophies like Champions Leagues, Super Cups, Club World Cups. You think he wants to join a club where all they've won in the last six years is a Parabell Cup? I mean, is this the source you're believing? Who even is that? That ain't as reliable as Fabio Romando. Why would he want to be managed by Eric Seven Hag when he can work under Pochettino, who owns Seven Hag? Are you forgetting the Champions League semi-final between Tottenham and Ajax? So Man United fans, humble yourselves, because you're not signing my star boy. My whole life I've loved this club and it feels like they've just been pissing on me for the past year. Why would we sell Mason Mount to Baptist the United? He was the next Frank Lampard.